We are having a dress rehearsal for the new show, Five Women Wearing the Same Dress. Oh. Hi there. Francis, what the hell are you doing? It is a lovely little play about some bridesmaids that are not too thrilled about the bride who has asked them to be a part of their wedding, so they are all hiding upstairs in a bedroom instead of mingling. Did you enjoy the ceremony? Oh, it was so beautiful. If you have ever wanted to be a fly on the wall in a room full of women just gossiping and catching each other up, I'd recommend coming to see it. On her. She just found out, don't you think? It's got highs, it's got lows. It makes you laugh, it makes you tear up a little bit, and it'll make you really think about your own life. I'll definitely say that none of these characters hold back, so expect to be shocked, but it's a hilarious show. Trisha, it was the best sex of my life. <laughs> I tell you what, I'll never be able to smell the garbage again without thinking about it. I play Frances. She is young, she is pretty naive and innocent, and uh, as she reminds everyone constantly throughout the show, she's a Christian. You ought to be ashamed of yourselves. You are ladies. Uh, my character is named Meredith. She is the younger sister of the bride. She's very sort of precocious and angsty, but is hiding a lot of vulnerabilities and insecurities. You really liked me, Trisha. Yeah. You really did. I play Mindy. Um, she is the uh, awkward gay sister of the groom. Definitely not like the other girls, but they all wind up having a little something in common by the end. I went to school for behavioral psychology, and now I sell real estate for a living, which is actually completely appropriate. So Georgian is a very confused woman. <laughs> she is high and she is low. She is all over the place. But she is everybody's kind of favorite ugly sidekick. If I ever die of cancer, I swear to God it's going to be Tommy Valentine's fault. So my character, her name is Trisha. I think that Trisha is more of a realist, kind of stuck in a world with a lot of traditional values. She has empathy for everyone, but she also has a short temper. Francis, don't cry. God, you're going to ruin your mascara. Stop! No matter who you are, there's going to be a lady in this show that you'll empathize with, if not really connect with, throughout the entire show. When was the first time you had sex? When was the first time you really liked it? There are some themes that it's probably, you know, most suited for more of a mature audience. Sex, drugs, rock and roll, the typical stuff. I'm just not so sure that I just want to go to a motel, do drugs, and have sex just for the hell of it. So maybe not the best for all ages or demeanors, but definitely a fun show worth seeing. And here she is at her own wedding.